challenge I don't put up a challenge I say I don't have a challenge 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 To make our destiny by our hands. Yes. Today is the day that we are as a people, as staff of the Brazilian state government, who for a year and a month ago were erroneously delisted from the Brazilian state payroll. We have listed and made a lot of entreaties, and nothing seems to be happening. The government has become so adamant of our plight. Yes. Our people are dying. And today we say, from today, 21st of September, to eternity, if we are not instructed, no going home. Is that what we say? Yes. So now we will march through that side. We are going to the secretary. We have asked some of our members to go and get chains. We will lock the secretary doors. If we can work, they shouldn't work. Yes. Is that what we say? Yes. Hello, let Lord, 
Sometimes is like sometime this year before the outbreak of uh, COVID-19, the His Excellency Senator Professor Ben Ayade sent circulars to all the affected persons to come gather at the stadium to address them, to reabsorb them. But before you know it, the, the outbreak of uh, uh, the, the pandemic that is affecting up to today. So I still want to appeal to them to um, exercise little, little patience that the governor will look into their problem. Like here in Waterboard, like as I said, we are going to carry out our own internal personnel audit to avoid a lot of ghost workers because we have a lot of ghost workers. A few of them that, we, that complained to me that, that they were affected by these single numbers, we call them, we reabsorb them, they are working and we are paying them. The salary they used to collect uh, from the state government. So we are paying them. There's only some of them that we don't know and we've not been seeing them. Hello. I am here and my members in solidarity with our brothers, our sisters, our comrades who were erroneously uh, delisted from the Cross River State payroll by the government of Cross River State since September 2019. We have made a lot of entreaties to government and relevant agencies to see how government could use their good offices and reinstate these workers. We are not adamant of the fact that the workers and in these civil servants of this our dear state have gone through a lot. For somebody who has children in school, who is living in a rented apartment, who has family to cater for, to be out of salary for a good one year and you know the pains they have gone through. And on Saturday I was being thrown out of my house because of there was no money to pay my house rent. With my children, I was the rent that fell on Saturday fell on us outside the house. So please, I am begging Ayade to restore our name back to the payroll so that I can feed my children and take care of them and pay us our arrears too. 
That is all I'm seeking and begging him to do for us.